Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. I've been trying to try to Sorry. I've been trying to set up a dealio where there's a little face cam in the corner and I haven't figured that out yet because my laptop which runs the software is not recognizing my tablet as a camera so it's not integrating it into the software the, the recording software anyway I know problems right anyway I will try to figure it out so that I'll have a little face cam of some sort but we don't have that at the moment so anyway so this is just a little video just a little bit of a haul some stuff that I found so if you have a Tuesday morning kind of close you might want to check it out and then a little tutorial. So this is what I got at Tuesday morning. These are little K and Company little die cut um, ephemera and these packs were 99 cents. Now there were three of them and so I just grabbed them all because I figured I could use them and I thought they were all different. They are not. They are just like packaged in here to where they look like they're all different but they're not. So but they were 99 cents. So let's open one and see what's in here. Because I figure for 99 cents, that's cheaper than printing stuff out. So we have this little, little postcard, a couple of those. We have these little cute postal, little, I don't even know what, what is that? Oh, it's a receipt of some sort. For the for a telegraph office. Here are some little letters and some little look like like illustrations you'd see in a book or paintings that you'd see in a book. Then we have all these little tags, little children's tags for something. Um, looks like a cigarette label. Cute, cute. This is a, a ticket for like a, a mesmer type show. A real estate ticket. That's kind of cool. I don't even know what that means. Oh, it's a bus ticket. Okay. Some like um, uh, travel stickers. Little book plates. Some little needle, uh, needle book cover. Some more little book plates some ripped postcard pieces, stamps, little trains, little advertisements. Oh, these are cute. Oh, those are cute. And some more tickets. And I don't know what that is. Is that the front of a far farmer's almanac, old one? That's cute too. So just some neat things, I think, for like collaging and stuff, maybe. Anyway, anyway, they're cute. They're, um, they were worth the 99 cents I paid for each packet. These are, um, this looks like a, like stocks. Shares, it's shares of the, the railroad. Cool. So 99 cents for that big pile of stuff. That's not, that's not sh too shabby. Let's see, got myself another bone folder. I know this says on the thing, it says paste applicator. That is totally a bone folder for me. I guess it can be paste. It's from Artsy. So it was 99 cents. And then I got these little charms. So there are, can you see? Am I in the, ooh, 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 ooh. ah, there we go. So there are little owl charms and little doves and little um, binoculars and they're hinged. Cute, right? So 99 cents for these packages. Then I got these little, oh, over here, little spools and then some bigger spools. So that was my, that was my little haul today at, now where do I put it? Okay. So, um, Oh, just this this really isn't even a tutorial it's just like a tip it's just a tip so um, I love those 
those little sacks that you can get. Um, there's several people on Etsy that sell them and they have like, um, like different old vintage uh, newspaper ads and stuff and they're little paper sacks and we sew them into the middle of the journals and I don't have any right now. So what I did was is I just took a piece of just regular tea stained copy paper and I don't have a whole lot of stamps but what I do have is Photoshop and so I have a ton of digital stamps. And for those of you that have Photoshop if it's needed at some point I can show you guys how to make a digital stamp out of almost anything so it's kind of a neat skill kind of useful to have so I just kind of randomly put some different things on it was just real quick just to kind of show you this so this is what you can do you can take this and you can either fold it like like this and like this and you glue it so we could or you could fold it like this and make a skinny one but let's 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 do this let's do it this way you could even sew it if you had a mind to so I'm gonna fold it like in thirds to where it's just barely barely overlapping my oh I forgot to get glue today <laughs> so just run a little bead of glue and at some point I may just, I may, I may run a stitch down that. Although it's kind of hard to stitch it after you've, after you've folded it. Huh? Because I mean, how are you going to get your sewing machine in there, right? So you'd have to stitch along one side and then just glue it down and pretend like it's stitched, I guess. So now it is all together and now you can fold it in with your signature. So you just fold it in half this way and then you can sew it in with your signatures and then you have two, two pockets. And it kind of looks like, um, kind of looks like those bags a little bit. And it's just not sticking down, we're good. So you can take your a hole punch and punch a little hole. My hole punch, I need to, um, I need to um, sharpen it with some foil or something because it just, unless it's cardstock, it just mashes. So anyway, pretend, <laughs> pretend that I had this already and I just would put it in there and just kind of nip a little half circle and then that way you'd have two little bags. Um, some people have really, really cool, um, they're circles, but they're like ruffled. They're like jagged like a real sack would have, that would be cool too. So anyway, but if you have a lot of stamps, you could just stamp the holy heck out of it and do the same thing. Just fold it in thirds and just run a bead of glue and then fold it in half this way. And you've got a cute little double pocket here. Double pocket. And you could make it out of even cardstock if you wanted something a little heavier duty, but the um, those little sacks aren't made of really heavy paper, so. Anyway, so there's that, and then um, another thing I had forgotten to show you last time, and this is also not a tutorial, this is just a tip. This is just a tip because um, a lot of people probably already know this, but maybe some people that are new might not. So <laughs> if you're looking for some ephemera, let's say you take a piece of just regular like cardstock this happens to be the Tim Holtz, um, I don't remember what paper pack this came out of, but it's kind of cute. It's just kind of cute paper. And so I make a little rectangle and it doesn't matter. The size doesn't matter. And I take my hole punch, maybe I shoot that upside down, and right in the middle, right here, I'm going to take out half a circle and I'm going to do the same thing on this side, right in the middle half a circle and now it kind of looks like a ticket some tickets have like the little corners taken out so you can just kind of nip the corners with your um, circle punch if you really want it to look like a ticket and then if you have the means like I have those little letter stamps you could stamp admit one on there and you could make little just little tickets you could ink the edges if you wanted to. Um, 
would be kind of cute. So you can make your own little tickets out of, I mean, just about anything. You could do this with just with cardstock, but it's just the basic shape with just a regular quarter inch hole punch. So there's that. Well, I guess that was, that was it today, guys. Like I said, I'm trying to figure out the whole face cam in the corner thing. I don't know why it's not really needed, so it may never happen. It was just something that it was kind of a challenge and um, I failed at figuring it out on my own and I can usually figure this kind of stuff out, um, but I just, I couldn't. So I need help. So anyway, guys, have a good one. I've got another journal that is halfway done, should be done by tomorrow. I got a, I ran behind and the tea stained papers, I need more. And I just need to remember that even if I'm not making journals, I still need to have like this um, assembly line. Cause what I do is I get out my, just my copy paper and I just brush over my tea or coffee mixture, whatever I'm using. And then I lay it out to dry overnight. And on the table that I use, I can get about 40 sheets of paper. Well, I go through that in like nobody's business. I just, it's gone. So even if I'm like, I don't have a journal in mind, I still need to just do that like every night or every other night and keep that going so that I always have like a stack of, of paper ready to rock and roll. So anyway, that's my problem. Those are, those are my problems today. <laughs> Got 99 problems. All right, guys, I will let you go. Um, have a good one and I will catch you really, really, really soon. Bye guys.